step right there so like the work around see his arms nice and tight and his hands are over right away so see the distance of his hands they're there so that's what we're looking for so he what he was here then he saw it and then he used right so that's that's where this having your hands in the same spot all of a sudden it allows you to play around with it because you're like well I know my hands are here so I know I can reach Versus like, I don't know where my hands are, I just hope I get them over the net, right? Yeah. My hands are here, oh, inside set, and then I can flash them to here. Uh, what I really want, actually, you know, I've reached for a little bit of this. What I really want is, uh, just at the last part here, Rudy has probably the best blocking like, technique as far as his hands and stuff go. And uh, he's just super, he's not big, right? like, like for uh, he's big for you guys, but for a middle, right, he's only like 6'6", six, six, so an international middle, but he's so quick <laughs> and so good with his hands that, um, <laughs> oh, well, I'm just burning my blocking out of it, so this would be good. So, it, this is what we're looking for. So, what I was just trying to look is their hands, after they're blocking, what their hands are doing. <laughs> and I didn't know this existed. <laughs> The way the quest is. So, Rudy's not in front. But B Man, uh, is that B Man? I don't know where on the other side. Okay, so see how, watch for one, how patient they are. So they're comfortable, but they're ready. Okay, and then Rudy comes over, three man blocks. Okay, see if you can see. So, see their, watch their hands after. Okay, let's try to tell it pretty quick. So they're here, nice and big, and then they're gonna finish with your hands. Okay, so let's watch it, see if you can pick up on it. Okay, fish the hand. It's just a little bit of a flush. Get a little touch on it. Okay, so here reset, nice and comfortable. Flush. Oh yeah, you can see it on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where that's where the aggression comes in, is with your how high you're, how high and over the net you're getting. And then the finish with your hands and with your arms. Okay, so we need to be stable and then we can finish properly. Okay, if we're not in the right spot, it's hard to finish properly. So reset. We're just gonna review some things, then we'll do some video and then see what you need to improve on. Okay, so what we wanna really what we wanna end up on, blocking is just a lot about technique like anything else. Um, but then it's really about reading the right thing. So we want to have a bunch of different footwork that we can have, right? So we can have a regular three, which is this. We can have a quick three, which is this. A two, which is this. A one, which is this. A five, which is this. Okay? And those are all patterns you can use. The patterns are all determined on what's happening on the other side. Okay, now let's just do a little bit of game speed. Okay? It's the same thing as the tap. You slow to fast, okay? So if you're blocking and you're slowing down, Okay, if you're doing like the three steps, then you're not going to jump as high. Right? So same thing, if I go fast and then I have to slow down, okay, well, I'm not going to block as high. Okay, we want to block as high as we can so that we can get to the net as far as we can. So, one, two, three, same with the attack, right? One, two, three, four. We're extending out the one. Okay, so we're going over. So we're just going one, you need, to master, you need to master the attacker's aggressiveness. One, two, four. With your one. Right? If I'm going as hard as I can, as fast as I can into my attack, and you're just kind of standing there, okay? it's not going to be as aggressive. Okay? Now, sometimes your coaches be just standing there and be stable. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's different. But in this case, if you're going to block, okay, the block, okay, be aggressive. Okay? So, one, two, okay? three, one.
Start position. Okay, remember you gotta be able to jump. So you gotta be probably here, Tori. A little lower. A little lower. You gotta okay. be able to jump yeah. without moving. Okay. okay, that's your starting spot. Okay, so good positive step. That's what we're looking for. So pivot towards. Hands good. Throw to the side. Okay, see so how your elbows do. Pretty good. You can pull back later a little more. Yeah, I notice that sometimes I keep them in, but yeah. sometimes I come too. So I think you're holding a broom, right? If you're holding a broom, just like kind of attacking, right? You're holding a broom, and so you got to keep your arms in the same spacing together, and you're gonna break the broom through your hips. Okay. So you gotta pull through your hips. Okay. Good player. Hands go up good. So this is the issue. Yeah, that's the issue they have with going wide. If you're wide, then you come in. Okay. And then, so remember, there we want to take up as much space as we can. Just good jump. So that's kind of more where we want to be. Okay. Okay. So I'd say your footwork is good. Okay. One good positive step. Okay. Arms are pretty good. Okay. Try to hold them on a broom and pull it. Okay. Oh, that's that one I yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's okay. So. Then the next one should be normal. Yeah. One. Okay. Break the broom. Pretty oh, good. No. That's a decent pull. Okay. Three. Watch your arm, hands. Come. Okay. okay. See that? So, yeah. right, think about it. We want the ball, we want to take up space, right? So the ball, you want to grab shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. So, as soon as you come narrow, then yeah. you're just exposing your arms, and then you're also giving it to the other, right? Okay, let's go. Uh, you walk, I'll film, okay, and you shut. Right, so remember the ball can't get through right here, right? So, I want to here block. Okay, most people are going to have the ball. And the last, our last technique that we're going to learn, our last technique will help us. Is that? Yeah, so take grab my shoulders. So grab two. So even if you're reaching, stay here. That's okay. The problem is you can reach. Okay, ready? One. That's what we're looking for. See the difference there, Tori? Yeah, I so, know. Even on, like, yeah, so just pull. So she broke the broom, but her but her arms are still nice and yeah. tight. Yeah. And then arms come up, good. Gets around, good. Hands pretty good spacing. It's good. good. So from here, the only difference I would say from here, uh, Jen, is just rotating a little bit. Okay. So I want my thumbs to be the one that, that's pointing up, and then that will actually give me more space, right? So I take away that, you know, that cut shot on both sides. Yeah, so my thumbs are pointing up a little bit, and my hands are rotating down a little bit. So again, think grab shoulders, right? If I grab your shoulder, I'm not gonna grab it like this. I'm gonna grab it like this. Chance? One, two,
Good for a second. Cross over. Oh, no. This is good. I was doing this. Yeah, and you didn't know that. Same thing. Yeah, so make sure your hands are going to be big, but you still want to cover the damn crisp. So it's a ball difference in between. Okay. 